Hello class, welcome to Principles of Management. My name is Dr. Janie Wilson. I am thrilled to be able to instruct this class and work with you guys over the next eight weeks. I've had some of you in previous classes. I recognize your names on the roster. For those of you who don't know me, I am from the South, so you can hear the Southern accent. Not a strong Southern accent. It's got a bit of New Orleans in there. And I have been teaching for Jefferson University for a year now. I also teach for Bruton Parker, which is a small Baptist college in Georgia. And I taught for University of Phoenix for 14 years before they closed out and moved the Louisiana campus and went strictly online. So I am thrilled to be working with you guys. And I want to talk a little bit about the class and the expectations. So what I am going to do at this point, I am going to share my screen because I want to show you some things in Blackboard. So here we go over to Blackboard. And I am going to the course information section, if you can see it right there on the screen. So when I click on the course information, it gives me the course overview and it has the course outcomes. These are our objectives. And you can also look at it as these are the things that we are going to cover week by week in the topics. So you know what's coming next in the upcoming weeks. So you do not have to purchase a textbook. Everything is within the class, which is a really great thing. There are articles, there are videos, there are different things that you're going to want to look at in the course materials. The syllabus, make sure you click on the syllabus link right here. Pull it up. And it's always a good idea to print this off and keep it handy so that you'll know what's going on. So back to the course information. This table right here, I highly recommend that you print this section because it will keep you on track on what's due each week. And I think it would be a great idea if you wrote in the date that each thing is due for unit two, unit four, unit three, five, seven, and eight. And then the other weeks where you don't see an, ass an assignment, you will just have the discussion posts. And I expect you to really work hard on your discussion posts. So let's talk about those. So when you answer a discussion post, this is the minimum. Answer each question in two paragraphs with four to six sentences per paragraph. One sentence saying, Sally, great, great point. You really nailed it on that one. And I appreciate what you said. What did I just say just now? I said absolutely nothing. I said a bunch of words. It's a word salad. I didn't bring anything new into the discussion. I didn't talk about the topic or the context of the topic or my experiences. So let's not post word salad. Reply to two of your classmates. This is the minimum. This is the minimum. Reply to me because sometimes I will post something because this is an interesting course. We're going to cover a lot of topics and I like it to resonate with you, if you will, uh, where it makes sense and it's important to you and use current events. In my last class, the training and development class, we were talking about the current tra trends and training in organizations. And one of the things I brought up was safety training. As you may have seen on the news, we have a horrible situation in New Orleans right now where the Hard Rock Hotel that was under construction collapsed and three people have lost their lives and they're trying to figure out how they're going to take that building down because it is wedged between other buildings. And when I say wedged, I mean wedged because I, on Tuesday night, I was parked in the building next to that and the buildings are wall to wall to wall to wall in that area. So safety training. So I digress a little bit, but I want to show you how I bring in current events and things that I've experienced so that we can keep the conversation going. Support your thoughts with references, and I will go out and find references to support my points. So you can use even, they don't have to be peer reviewed. You can use newspapers like the New York Times or Wall Street Journal. You can use um, Harvard Business Review. You can use a lot of the different journals that are out there and You'll find a lot of information about what we're talking about on the, well, they've got the American Marketing Association. There's also the American Management Association and also SHRM, the Society of HR Management. So you want to look at those. We want this, we want the discussions to be interesting. It's not a routine and I know it gets to be routine for you, but we want it to be interesting. Picture being in a class and you're looking at me and we're talking and I'm interjecting in the conversation and you're interjecting, bringing your thoughts together. So minimum number of posts is three to one, one response to the initial question and two responses to peers. Now I'm gonna go down here to the rubric. This is what I grade by. In order to be proficient and earn all of the credit, 
I'm looking for not three, but four posts for each discussion question. I'm looking for you to post on three, it says three or more days. We have posting occurs on three days, so we have three or, or more days. I'm really looking for four days. So get in on Monday and Tuesday or Tuesday, get in on Thursday, get in on Friday, get in on Saturday or Sunday. It gives you four days. And it should only take you a few minutes to respond to a post. Um, post by Wednesday. If it's not in by Wednesday at 11.59, it's late. And I'm going to take off points for that. Because we all have deadlines and we all have things to do and we're all busy. But we need to adhere to our deadlines. Professional communication. Grammatically correct. Punctuation and spelling. And I'm going to, I know you guys won't do this, but I'm just going to say it. I can tell when you copy and paste. When you have five font changes in your discussion post, yeah, it's a copy and paste. No, do not plagiarize, please, in something as straightforward as a discussion post. I want to see some critical thinking. Don't just tell me what the articles say. Tell me what you think. And again, you got to tie it back to the course materials. It's not just pulling it out of the air and making up something. Um, each writing assignment has a rubric. Pull the rubric down before you do the assignment. So the way it's going to work in this class, you are going to build a project from week, let's see, it's week two, week two, through, it's actually starting in um, unit three. You're gonna do two other assignments in two and four, unit three, five, seven, and eight. It's going to build a plan and the first important thing, and I'm going to talk more about it before we get to unit three, is selecting the problem statement. And this plan is going to look like, if you've ever participated on a quality team, it's going to look like plan, do, check, act, or plan, do, study, act. That's what it's going to look like. You are going to put together a plan to resolve a business problem. So your business problem could be, I'll give you one that wasn't related to Jefferson University. And this, it was this simple. Um, I worked for a hospital and we were having difficulty raising money for the hospital foundation. And a lot of employees have a philosophical problem with giving money back to their employer. But we, I passed that off to a management training team that I had and they worked up. The problem is not enough employees are donating. They looked at why employees weren't donating. They looked at how they could get employees to donate and they rolled out a marketing campaign and they raised $30,000 in their campaign. So it was really amazing that they did that. And you know how they did it? They pushed $1 a payday. $1 a payday. And it was frontline people in clerical positions. It wasn't the directors who did that. So that's the kind of thing we're looking for. Solve a problem, not a big problem, because you, I don't want you bogged down in minutia and it's too, the scope is too big. I'll talk more about this later, but I want to get your brains, those gears going in your brains on this. Uh, other things, make sure your papers are grammatically correct. Make sure you run them through Grammarly. Even your discussion questions, attach Grammarly to your computer. If you have not downloaded it yet, please do so. I use it all the time. And every week I get an email telling me how many new words I've used. I'm like, okay. So it's monitoring me now. Big Brother's watching what I, I do there. So with that, I'm going to say we're going to have a wonderful class. If you need to contact me, please reach out to me. And I will be posting a video every Sunday afternoon. I try to do them right after church so that I'm all pulled together. And we can talk. If you need to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, please reach out to me. We can talk on the phone. I can do a Zoom with you. We can do several things. So let's make sure that we stay connected, that you stay engaged, you stay involved, and keep ahead of your work. This will be my final piece of the lecture. And I really don't want to lecture, but that's what this turns out to be. My rule and my thought always is stay on top of the work. If you get behind one week, now you've got two weeks worth of work to do. And if you're behind one and can't get one week's done, why do you think you're going to be able to do two, three, or four weeks in upcoming weeks? You know, it just kind of snowballs on you. Be very careful of that. Be cognizant of that. I know time moves quickly. I cannot believe it's, to, this is Friday. I cannot believe this week has gone by so fast. And I can't believe the last eight weeks went by so fast. This week, this eight weeks is going to go by really fast because we're running into Thanksgiving and we're going to be flying headlong into the holidays. So with that, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to post this. I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Make sure you go in right away and do your introduction so that I can know a little bit about you like you know a little bit about me. Take care and have a wonderful day.